Hello, everyone. Uh, this is the presentation for the Web Conference 2021 of our work on generative slate recommendation. In e-commerce, slate recommendation problem usually refers to the scenario where a fixed size list of item is featured for the user. So this is often observed in the front page on a browser or the opening screen of a mobile app. Compared to traditional recommendation that provides arbitrary length ranking list, a slate recommendation usually focus more on the intra-list features like positional bias and item relations. So in this scenario, it is difficult for common learning to rank solution to model these features under the enormous arrangement space because of the discriminative and greedy nature. A generative method, on the other hand, can uh, mitigate this problem. And the overall goal is to learn a generator model P theta that can generate a slate of items S based on the given condition C and some latent slate encoding C. So ideally, the resulting model is well-trained and it can also enable the system to efficiently control and fine tune the output without searching different combinations of items. However, this generative approach is stochastic during training and inference. And this brings an additional challenge. Specifically, uh, increasing the variance would more effectively explore the variety of items but may sacrifice recommendation accuracy. In the end, we would like to learn a model that can find the balance between sufficient variance and good accuracy. Before we observe how item variance affects the model performance, we would first have a look at the detail of its measurement. Specifically, we can decompose the total item variance into the interslate variance and the intraslate variance. Specifically, uh, while the interslate variance describe how the mean item varies, uh, varies across slates, the intraslate variance reveals basically the diversity within each slate. Intuitively, it is undesirable to have a model that can explore different slates, but each slate has many duplicated items. And on the other hand, if a model can generate diverse items in each slate, but it always generates this prototype slate then the recommendation system becomes unfair for some items. But this tells us that uh, we need to evaluate both measures in order to fully understand how the generative model works. So in our experiments, we regard intra-list variance as identical to the intra-slate diversity, and we regard item coverage as the approximation of the total item variance. Now we can observe how generative model behave in terms of slate recommendation. We use uh, existing CVAE based model whose optimization involves a factor beta, which trade off between the slate, recommend, uh, slate reconstruction loss over the training records and the KL divergence that controls the distribution of the latent slate encoding Z. In our observation, we found that uh, the most settings of beta either falls into over, uh, over reconstruction extreme or in the over concentration extreme. As summarized in the table, neither of this extreme provides feasible recommendation. Mechanically, when increase the beta, the model training will focus more on the KL term that enforce the encoder to be aligned with the prior for Z given C. So the model will become more accurate when generating recommendations that satisfy the condition. 
However, it will focus less on the reconstruction as a result. So it, it, will, it will become less effective in coding the various slates from the training data. So the latent Z becomes less informative. The resulting output will mostly rely on the given condition C and concentrate on prototype slates, which repeatedly generates the same output. The intermediate region between these two extremes can provide adequate trade-off between accuracy and variance, but it's usually sensitive and hard to find. So we want to learn a model like the model in this region, but we also want it to be easy to find. Recall that in over concentration case, we observe uh, high accuracy, but almost no variance, uh, no variation. Even when you choose different, uh, different example of latent Z, so the idea is to enforce the variation of the output uh, in such extreme case while keeping the accuracy satisfactory. A straightforward solution is to apply post-generation perturbation uh, where each position can uh, stochastically select another item based on their similarity to the generated virtual embedding, virtual item embedding. However, this approach is hard to control and it may significantly downgrade the generative performance. As you can see in the figure, for a slate of size five and the optimal user response as condition correspond to the last row, um, changing two items already make the user response distribution close to that of a random slate. So post-generation perturbation ignores the fact that the item are related to uh, each other in the slate and thus may influence the user satisfaction of the entire slate. So we propose to apply uh, perturbation before the majority part of the generation, which is a pre-generation perturbation method. Mechanically, we can separate the generation process uh, uh, into two phases. First, we select a pivot item for a certain position. Then we complete the slate based on the pivot. The separated model is, is mathematically equivalent to the original model in, uh, in the probabilistic view. So without perturbation, this method behave almost identical to the original model. When engaging perturbation, we only need to apply it to the pivot and the majority of the generation still remains intact in the later slate completion model. Ideally, it will generate, the model will learn to generate a satisfactory output, even if the sampled pivot is bad. We denote this uh, pre-generation perturbation method as pivot CVAE. And know that the training and the inference, both the training and the inference can choose to employ or ignore the pivot perturbation. And the resulting model will offer different level of trade-off between the accuracy and uh, variance uh, based on the choices. So empirically, uh, we observe behaviors of um, generative models on U choose data movie lens 1 million, as well as the simulation environment uh, with different magnitude of item relation effect on the, uh, in the slate. So we found that applying perturbation at training time would improve both the accuracy and the variance compared to simple CVAE model, indicating this indicates a more effective exploration of the slate space. On the other hand, uh, applying perturbation during inference tends to improve the variance even more, but may sacrifice the accuracy. 
Uh, additionally, there uh, a nice property of the VAE-based model is the informative encoder. In our experiment, we can use them to observe the slate encoding and see how the slate variance is influenced on the space of latent Z. Again, uh, we observe the large beta case, which is the overconcentration extreme with high accuracy, but low variance. We found that without user information, the encoding is clustered with respect to the desired number of click as the condition C. In contrast, uh, uh, on the other hand, uh, inclu including the user embedding into the condition would uh, provide a more fine-grained uh, slate encoding, slightly improve the system level variance, but the recommended slates are still concentrated given the same user. So this basically tells us uh, when the given condition is fixed, item variation is still primarily affected by whether the decoder learns to model the variety of slates or not. And in terms of diversity aware models like uh, maximal marginal re relevance that applies uh, re-ranking after generating the candidate, slate, uh, candidate list, uh, they intentionally improve the intra-slate variance, but not necessarily improves inter-slate variance. Since it is deterministic and always recommend the same list given the same input. In terms of uh, comparison on test set, we notice that uh, stochastic models do not always pinpoint the items in the test set, uh, different from that in a simulation environment. Uh, and thus, this will, this will uh, let the generative model perform worse on traditional metrics that only depends on the tested data. However, if given a user response model or an online uh, setting that can tell how user reacts to unseen slates, generative models can more effectively explore the vi uh, various slates providing more satisfactory output. So in summary, we aim to uh, expose the challenge of controlling the variational behavior of generative slate recommendation models to provide uh, feasible recommendations. We also derive different notions of item variance, which also have potential for other tasks like text, uh, text generation and sequential recommendation. So please check our paper for detail if you are interested. And thank you for listening.